Hi, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and today we are going to film one I'm calling Wrap Around Dutch Pancake Braid. Now, you are going to love this one. So we kind of stumbled onto it one day when I was messing with her hair and I was doing the crown braid, but then, anyway, we just came up with this one. You'll love it. She wore this one on Anderson Cooper, and she also wore it while we were walking around New York a lot, and we literally had like 20, 30 people stop us just to talk about this hairdo. So, and it, the point is we're going to start the, this braid way down here, right below her ear, right here. But, and then we're going to kind of come up around her crown like you're going to do a crown braid. Now just so that I kind of know where I'm heading, I like to just sort of section off a hair. Sorry. Like a little bit of a hair line so that I don't pull too much from the back. Okay? Now, put your head up a little bit for me. And then I'm just, it doesn't have to be a perfect line, just kind of a rough one. And then I'm just going to kind of pull the rest of her hair out of the way for a sec. This just helps me sort of know the pathway I want to follow. So starting way down here behind her ear, I am going to start my three sections and we're doing a Dutch braid. So an Audi braid, reverse French braid, goes by lots of different names. And we're just going to do a regular French braid, regular Audi. And if you don't know how to do this, I have another video showing very detailed how to do this braid. So you can watch that. I'll link to it um, below. So we're just going to go. Now as we get up here onto her forehead, I'm going to try to stay as close to the front of her forehead as possible. So while you're doing this. Just try to keep the braid towards the front of her forehead. This really isn't super tricky. You can see our braid starting to emerge. And you can see that I'm only picking up hair back to that part line that I left before and that it isn't very deep. Tip your head down just a little so they can see. Like you can see, I'm not clear back here on the back of her head, and you'll you'll see why when I'm in just a second when I get a little farther along. But just trust me when I say you don't want a very deep part line. Okay, now when we start getting towards the side of her face, again we're still just kind of trying to stay close to her hairline. And when I get to, usually right around here, so right around the top of her ear, then I let this other hair go. And now I'm going to start pulling just a little bit of the hair from the rest, the section we had held before, and start braiding it in as well. So you can see I'm now adding... And just continue to work that French braid. So this is very similar. If you've watched the crown braid video, this is very similar. We just finish it off a little bit different. And then we're going to pancake it. You see our little pink ears? They uh, had a school fair yesterday and we're out in the sunshine most of the afternoon doing a renaissance fair. So they're all little slightly pink from the spring sunshine. Okay, let me turn you some more. So we're still gathering in the hair. Sun. Okay, and when we get to this last section, you want to keep this one as close to the head as possible. So make sure you give it a good tug when you get right there so that it stays up tight. Okay, now normally on a crown braid, you'd finish braiding this off and you'd add an elastic at the end. 
and then you'd wrap it back up like so. We're just going to let it hang down and leave it down this time. I'm going to go ahead and secure her hair. She has some layers to her ends, so I have to secure hers up pretty far or you'll see that I have hairs that start popping out. Now, this is what makes the braid really fun. We're just going to go back and pancake it. So you're just going to grab that very outside edge and give them a tug, which is just going to pop them out. Make some nice and flat, which is why my girls have nicknamed them the pancake braid. And I'll show you as we go along. So tug, tug. This doesn't hurt them. It's just loosening the hair a little bit as we go. Tug, tug. Then you can go back up on, on top, do the same thing. Now you can see I'm kind of hanging on to the end here because as you pull some of those, you'll see that we're pulling the, elast the hairs out of the elastic a little bit. So I'm just hanging on to it to make sure that we still keep our ponytail. Okay, turn. And the farther up the braid you go, the easier it'll be to pancake them. And you can do it as big a puffs as you want or as little. I like mine pretty puffy, especially up on top. So my favorite part to puff is right here by her forehead. Okay, now look, here's normal French braid. Here's pancakes braid. Normal Dutch braid. Pancake braid. You can see there's a humongous difference in the way that they look. Just give them a tug. Okay, a little bit more. Tug, tug. So we get some nice, really soft pancakes. Okay, and there you have it. Now look at the front of her braid right here. I love this, just how it looks like this big crown of puff braids on her head. And that's what catches people's attention. Like they stop all the time. How do you do that? How do you do that? So you can see it all the way around. And again, you can tug them as much or as little as you want to make them nice and puffy. And if you have to, then if you have ends popping out like this, you can go back up and just move your elastic up a little bit. And just let that lay on her shoulder. And there you go. Makes a beautiful, beautiful braid. I'm sure you guys are going to enjoy. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like what you're seeing and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.